Hello! Welcome to day 14 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like you can also take part. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Create your own superhero or magical girl is the topic in today's video. But I thought it would be a bit too obvious to create a magical girl, so I decided to create my own little superhero. Maybe you can guess what kind of hero she is. First off, I started with a sketch as usual and as you can clearly see, I had my problems with her shoes. Huh. But yeah, just be patient with yourself and try again. And if something really doesn't work, just try it again another day. I did the same as you can see on the different sweaters I'm wearing in the video. Um, and I was pretty unhappy with the way I drew her shoes. Uh, I also drew the outlines for three times because of several mistakes I did. And oh, I was really so unhappy with her shoes and so I came up with the idea of just drawing them again instead of drawing the full line art again because that's uh, a waste of time. So I just drew them again scanning both line works and put them together in Photoshop and then I just printed the drawing. So yeah, you can say I'm a perfectionist. It's a blessing or a curse, I don't know. And I'm also really not a digital artist and I'm also not that good with Photoshop. I just know the things I need to know to do my stuff and yeah, it worked. So because it's printed, I always make sure that I don't print it in full black. It's always more like a grey tone. I just want to prevent it from smearing with the markers. So if you're printing pictures to color them with markers and you're wondering why it's smearing, uh, just print them in a light tone and then it should be safe. At first I was not quite sure what I want to create. Almost every kind of superhero has either supernatural powers or has some interesting gadgets. Sometimes they are also costumed adventurers, but most of the time superheroes are fighting against supervillains, crime and protecting the public. And I think this is the significant sign of a real superhero. So my little superhero is something special in her own little world. Even if she has no special abilities or supernatural power and even if she might be no orphan like almost every superhero is. It's funny how many superheroes don't uh, have parents or they're, they're, the parents just died. Strange. She wants to be a hero and she protects her friends and other kids against bullies or rude people. 
She has the spirit and heart of a true hero. So because she is pretty young, uh, just around seven or nine years old, I created her like she is a sandbox hero with some gadgets like marbles in her bag so her enemies will slip and fall when she threw them on the ground and she has a little scoop for fighting in a duel. She does the braids by herself and that's why they look messy and uneven. Her helmet is just a bucket and yeah, she always gets some scratches during playing with uh, during playing wild and trying to find new hiding places or a secret base between bushes and trees. It reminded me a bit of my own childhood always having these hiding spots, having adventures in the allotment garden, going home always muddy uh, through the dirt on the ground and of course from making muddy cakes. Yeah, childhood is an innocent little funny world full with adventures. How was your childhood? So because of all these little scratches, she's always wearing some plasters, as you can see, and the one on her nose is just because she always runs against things. She's a real tomboy. <laughs> of course, it's also important to wear a red cape as a superhero. But the only thing I was missing uh, but what I recognized later, after I finished the picture, um, were some freckles in her face. It would have stood well with the red hair and her wild appearance. But it's okay the way it is. Maybe I will add it later off cam. What I also recognized at the end was that the color scheme reminds uh, of Cyberman from Dragon Ball. So. What do you think? I think it's funny. <laughs> but I guess it's just because of the green shirt. Because I had no black outlines, I used colored pencils in blue, purple and pink to amplify the line work. I like that it looks more uh, soft through it, but it takes a lot more time to draw them because you always need to sharpen the pen and so much more, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, and one thing that is missing is a superhero name for her. Now I ask you for ideas. Let's do uh, a little giveaway out of it. Everyone who comments with a suitable superhero name for her gets the chance to win this original picture with some little extras and one of my art books. So if you want to participate, make sure to be subscribed to my channel and uh, this is very important, make sure to add a link to your social media, unnecessary if it's Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google Plus and so on, um, so I can send you a message in case you win. I will pick the winner next week. So I guess that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative. Bye bye!